Hi guys, I'm Sumbul and welcome to my channel. So today this is our luxury beauty products haul and to be honest, I don't have many products to talk about. In fact, I just bought four products. But the special thing about this video is because I purchased these four products, so I was above the threshold by which I got a very gorgeous free gift full of skin care, hair care and makeup goodies. So I'm very excited to share all of this with you guys. So without any further delay, let's begin. Before I jump into the products, uh, let me just put a little disclaimer. I'm not sponsored by the Space NK website. I just love to purchase my makeup from there quite often because I normally get very good deals. Sometimes, you know, very good gifts like this. And sometimes I get some vouchers like five pound, 10 pound vouchers as a discount. So it's always good. It helps. I think it's a little extra and it motivates me to <laughs> pick their website above the others. So that is the only uh, reason I purchased all of this from the Space NK website. Plus because they had a very great offer going on, the free gift and I just loved all the goodies in it. So definitely I had to just go and get my makeup from there to get this gift. So let's begin. So the first product I got is this RMS Beauty Raw Coconut Cream. So this is a solidified coconut cream as you can see and basically it's supposed to be used as a cleanser or as a moisturizer or even you can put it on your spray tans if you want to so i definitely wanted to try something coconutty because i've been reading quite a lot lot about the advantages of coconut oil and things like that so that's why i picked this and in case you're wondering it's 17 pounds so it was not very cheap nor was it very expensive i think it's just the right um Thing in between and because I didn't want coconut oil I wanted something solid so that I can just you know melt it between my fingers and use it whenever I need to so I didn't really wanted the oil version because I have used uh, a coconut oil before but it, you know it really gets solidified in the bottle and it's very hard to melt it when you're in a hurry of course you can put in it in warm water but that's just an extra step I didn't want you to do it so when it solidifies I really have to shake the bottle to get some drops out so I didn't like it in the bottle, but I think in a jar like this, it will be really easy. Whenever you need some, you can just melt some between your fingers and just use it wherever you want. And that's why I bought this and I hope it's a success. Let's try some. Okay. So I'm rubbing two of my fingers in it. Some of the oil came on my fingertips and now let's try to just put it in my hair. Oh, just look at the shine, the instant shine. Let's try some hair. My hair is also feeling a lot smoother to touch. Because I haven't used anything on my hair. I just shampooed it and let it air dry. So there's nothing, no serum, no oil in it. So it was a little rough, but with this, it's certainly getting very smooth. And I don't think it's very oily or uh, sticky. It's still letting my hair be silky. So that's good. I'm not a huge fan of the coconut smell, but I guess I can come to a compromise if the result is very good. So next is another hair product and this is a hair perfume. By the way, never tried a hair perfume before and I didn't even know they existed until a week ago. So I was really uh, excited when I found one on the Space NK website and I'm looking forward to trying it out. I've not smelled it, which I think is a huge risk on my part. So I hope, just fingers crossed, that I like the smell of this. And by the way, the brand is called Byredo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correct, but whatever. And it consists of... I thought a hair perfume should not have alcohol in it because it dries it out, right? But the, ingre but the first ingredient is alcohol. Now I'm quite skeptical about this anyway so this is what it looks like the bottle is how much mils it's 75 mils and it costs 48 pounds so it's a very very expensive hair perfume uh, i hope i've not wasted my money and i hope i just hope that it's a good product even with the alcohol in it okay so let me spray some I need to get my electronic equipment out of here first. Oh, it smells divine. The risk was well worth it. It has an amazing smell. Oh, 
I love it so far. But as I told you, alcohol, I don't want it to dry my hair. Maybe with, with the coconut oil, it will help. So first I'll use the coconut cream on my hair and then apply this. So maybe it will cancel out the effect of the alcohol. And yes, it masks the smell of the coconut because it's a very strong hair perfume. So that's also a good point. It's amazing. You should definitely smell this. By the way, I want to apply some more. My hair smells like a meadow. It's a mixture of jasmine and some more flower smells that I'm not really tasting right now. But definitely it has a very flowery but a very strong scent to it. You know, so sometimes the flowery scent are not very strong. They're quite subtle. But in addition to the flowers, it certainly has other ingredients also that are just lovely. In fact, let me just look it up and tell you what exactly is in this perfume. So I'm just going on the website and then going to put in the name of the perfume. So actually it says right here on the bottle that I somehow missed. It says La Tulip. So probably a lot of tulips in it. Let me see. Yes. So it says it has the enchanting power of aromatic tulips. And what else? So middle notes of rhubarb and tulip and the base notes of blonde woods and vetiver. I'm not sure what's vetiver but and I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing it correctly but but there's something called vetiver that adds an essential muskiness to the fragrance for a glorious finish. I'm going to need more of these. I think that I've just officially fallen in love with this smell. Even if it dries out my hair a little bit, but I think for occasions I can manage with the dryness if it smells so good. Before moving on to the third product, if you have watched any of my previous videos, there was a luxury makeup haul that featured this by Terry Lip Balm. So because I have loved using it, I just love the smell, the texture, the effect it gives on my lips. I love everything about it except the packaging. I think the packaging is too bulky, especially if I'm putting some makeup in my handbag and I add this on top of it, it gets really heavy because it's quite a heavy pot and even the lid is not very light. So I think the packaging could have been made lighter, but this heaviness does give it a very posh feeling so i'm not really bothered about the packaging as long as i just love the product inside this has an amazing smell i think i mentioned in that makeup haul video that the smell is quite similar to the dior lip balm the rose one th that's quite baby pinkish in color that balm i don't like too much because it doesn't really hydrate my lips and i think it was just a waste of my money but <laughs> not talking about that right now this one was just amazing. It gives a very faint color to my lips. It smells amazing and it has the loveliest, creamiest texture. So because I love this lip balm, I bought another one in a different color. So this one was called number four, Bloomberry. And then the new one is number three, Cherry Bomb. So this is a very pinkish color. And now let me show you. So this is the packaging, very cute as you can see. And then the same bulky packaging. And this is the color inside. So as you can see, this is very vibrant and pink in the pot, but I'm sure on the hand because they usually give a very faint tint. So it's not going to be this bright on the hands. I don't really know how to describe the texture. It's just, it's amazing. Very smooth, very hydrating, and it does stay for quite some time on my lips. It's very hydrating. And I just love the faint smell of roses in it. Normally, I don't like the smell of roses. I just have never really liked red roses. But somehow, in this lip balm, I managed to uh, tolerate it. And the last product is this Dr. Dennis Gross Wrinkle Recovery Peel. So, this is the most expensive product out of the lot. And I got this because I'm fed up of the acne and the pigmentation on my skin. It, does, it doesn't seem to go away. Although <laughs> I don't religiously um, apply on my creams, but still I, I've heard that chemical peels also are a great way to at least reduce the pigmentation and just clear out your skin for an even complexion. So that's why I got this and because I read quite a lot of reviews which raved about this product so I decided to give this a try. So I just got the courage to 
click on buy and I bought this and I just really hope it works because it's very expensive it should work and there are 16 treatments in this box so let me just open it and show you so these are the sashes and there are 16 of them in this box so it says it's a new way to peel with clinical dose retinol for professional results at home for optimal results use two to three times a week in the night but from the reviews i've read most of the people say it's quite a strong product so it may be beneficial to use it just once a week that's what i've read from the reviews i've not naturally tried it so when i try it i can comment on it better but so far that's what most people have said and then it says thoroughly massage treatment pad onto clean dry skin if slight sensitivity occurs reduce frequency of use until skin adjusts so it says over here also that you can reduce the frequency and then use sunscreen during the day yes after the use of chemical peels it's very important to use sunblock whenever you go out because your skin is extra sensitive and you definitely need sunblock so just putting this very important point out there if anybody of you don't know that you know i don't know if it's just me but i will spend this much money on makeup relatively easily but when it comes to skincare i just hate spending such a large amount of money on just one product and you know putting all my eggs in one basket this is just one product and if it fails it means all this money will go down the drain so i'm re usually reluctant to spend quite a lot on skincare but i will however spend the same amount of money on makeup you know uh, how i justify it in my head is because makeup is packaging plus the quality plus the texture so i normally tend to buy it eagerly but when it comes to skincare i'm quite skeptical about the efficacy of products i'm i'm really, really honest i don't really think that the very expensive products the very very expensive serums or the anti-aging um aspect of it works because if the anti-aging aspect of you know these high-end creams did really work nobody would be getting botox or fillers or whatever they do to their face so that is why i'm quite skeptical about the anti-aging wrinkle reducing claims of creams and masks and moisturizer i just buy them for temporary hydration number one and number two which is equally important that they do not further sensitize my skin so they should be very um, gentle and I should be able to tolerate them really well. And third, if, you know, chemical peels, because I know they do work. I've talked to many dermatologists. So chemical peels do somewhat help in reducing the pigmentation because they remove all the dead skin cells, just like exfoliation. But this is the chemical method of exfoliating your skin. And it's a little bit better than exfoliation, I think, because I have tried both of them. I did try a chemical peel um, at a spa so I did notice a huge difference as compared to whenever I go for the exfoliating facial so that was just my experience I don't know if you guys have some other experiences I can't comment about other people that is just from my personal experience I have seen that chemical peels are better than the exfoliation exfoliating facials so it's now time to show you guys the free gift that came with these purchases and because it's a huge gift having many products so i won't be going through every individual product i will just be showing you what i'm most excited about in this gift but first i'm going to let you peek into the amount of products this gift contains so these are not all the products i have some of them lying outside so the makeup products i have lying outside and these are all the skincare hair care and there's also one mini perfume and a note over here that the products are usually you know deluxe sample size so they don't have the best quantity but at least i get to try out a lot of different brands and then see what i like and what i don't like before i go on and spend my money on the full size and then totally waste it so i just love getting free gifts like this so it's a very nice and handy way of testing huge variety of makeup skincare and hair care so i'm going to be showing you the highlights of this gift that is the product i'm most excited to receive so the first is this dipti candle and this is the rosa fragrance that is roses and this also smells lovely so it doesn't smell like the very original red rose smell that I usually hate. 
it's a little bit different so that's why i like it and this is the size of the candle scented candle very cute so then i was excited to see this rodeal stem cell magic gel so you can use it either as a moisturizer or as a face mask but the quantity is just 9 ml so don't be deceived by the packaging the packaging seems quite huge but the product inside is just 9 ml but anyway the packaging is still very cute as you can see very well made very luxurious and i guess you just push this down and then the product oozes through i'm not going to do it right now i'm not going to just start the counter for the expiration because whenever you start using a product then the expiry really starts and the expiry for this is just 6 months so i'm not going to use it right now Next is this Sarah Chapman Skinessis Skin Insurance SPF 30. I just love the packaging. It's so cute these tiny travel size bottles. It mimics exactly the larger version and it's the same detailing and everything and it's just so beautiful and it's a shame it just holds 10 ml but the packaging is super cute. So yes, I'm not going to be swatching the product inside from this also because I already have Sarah Chapman moisturizer. and the mask so this is something extra which i will use after i finish those next is this amoro wixa i'm pretty sure i'm butchering the pronunciation but this is a face emulsion and thankfully it's full size so this is 50 ml and let me show you how it looks from inside posh packaging it has a very nice weight to it it's super luxurious super sleek and very shiny also so this is the face emulsion and i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using this one straight away so let's wash it then okay i locked it no this was locked okay so my hands were pretty dry Oh, it has the loveliest smell. Even the smell is exotic. I'm guessing if the product turns out to be as good as the packaging, I'm going to be addicted to this face emulsion. It has the loveliest smell. Okay. So the other skincare products, I'll just quickly tell you what they are. Basically, the rest of them are masks, moisturizers, this tanning butter. which definitely i'm not going to be using but going going to give away to a friend that needs it and then we have eye creams there's this deodorant stick deodorant this darfin cleanser and more masks and hair care so quite a lot of skin care and now let me show you the makeup items that were in this free gift so i got this hourglass mineral primer and the quantity is tiny it's 3.6 ml the packaging tiny tiny cute little packaging this is going to be so travel friendly i am hoping to go on a trip very soon so these products will come in really handy the next is this kevin aquan mascara which i think i have received in one of my previous gifts also then i got this becca perfecting base blurring primer it's so good when these tiny packaging have pump dispensers because it's so practical and easy to use I know the bigger Becca primers do have pump dispensers normally but it's such a nice added extra touch when they include the pumps in the little bottles also. And then I was super happy to receive this organic makeup setting spray with SPF 30. So I am on the hunt of good makeup sprays because so far I have only liked the MAC Fix Plus and you know what I normally don't like to spray it all over my face even the MAC Fix Plus because I don't like what it does to my makeup. I normally like to just spray it on my brushes for the added extra pigmentation when I'm using my eyeshadows or I use it on a sponge for my highlighter or stuff like that. I don't like the texture and the feel it gives when I spray it all over my face. So So far I've used the Urban Decay setting sprays and the MAC ones all over my face and I haven't really liked any of them for my full face. So I was hoping to try and experiment with more makeup setting sprays. If you guys know of some please comment below and let me know what you love to use. So anyway, I was really happy to get this 
Kula Organic Makeup Setting Spray with SPF 30 as a gift in this uh, whole gift uh, package because it will be a chance to try out this brand also and see if I like it or not. And then I'm super excited to receive this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. So this is also a teeny tiny sample. It's 2.8 mils, which I think is more than enough because these drops are intense. So this will probably last me one month. That's how intense and beautiful they are. So just look at the teeny tiny sample again. I'm just getting super excited by looking at these tiny versions of the bigger products. So this is the shade in Moonlight as I've mentioned before. And then let me look at the teeny tiny dropper. Oh, so cute. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys regarding this gift is this Aspinel of London passport holder. Isn't this just the prettiest passport holder? This very amazing pink with this golden lettering. And as a bonus, they also have given a complimentary personalization of this passport cover if you want to. I'm guessing you can just take it uh, to any Aspinel of London store and then they will give you the free engraving. You can just, you know, put your initials or something like that on top. So I thought this was an amazing gift. That's why I saved the best for the last because I thought this was an amazing, amazing thing to include in this gift. Although I just love all the brands and items they've included in this gift, but I think I'm a little biased towards this because I was in need of one. So it has saved me from spending my money to get a passport holder and this is very cute. So I'm going to be using this a lot and this is what it looks from inside and then this is the ribbon if you want to bookmark a certain page of your passport and again amazing you can get the engraving until the end of this year so it's available until 31st of december 2018 so this is a very nice time and i think i should be able to get my free engraving by then very very beautiful and just an amazing gift Okay, so guys, this was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and do subscribe to my channel for new beauty videos every Wednesday. Until next time, stay beautiful.